Hello everyone, it's Carla from Casey Creates. Thanks for stopping by. I just wanted to do a little project share that I've been excited about because um, it's been a while since I've made a lace doily book. And so I have one to share with you. This one is um, one that's been purchased by someone who saw one that I sold on Etsy and she asked if I would make her a small lace doily book. So I used, oh, I'm gonna see what size. I think these were about four inch, no, oh, more like five inch doilies. Um, and I just really had fun making it as pretty, pretty as I could. This is actually the back. And it's got all kinds of creams and whites and pinks and doilies and applique. So this is um, some pretty rose tangle trim. And this is a little pocket, a little doily applique and a satin ribbon rose and a lace bow at the top and some pearls. And then it's um, bound with, actually this is the bound side with um, seam binding and lace. And I just looped it through the uh, doily. And there's a satin ribbon rose and a little dangle of trims and a couple of charms. I don't know if you can see that very well. Some leaf trim there and the crochet or embroidered rosebud trim and another leaf. And then this is a bulb pin with a button, a key, an angel. Yeah, a button, a key, and an angel. So I'm there. I'm not sure. I have a hard time knowing what angle to hold this thing at. And then I put, um, I ruffled some pretty pink lace. And this is another one of the medallions that it's made by Gracie over at Gracie's place, but Mary Barrett made me the most gorgeous pink um, altered file folder, and these were a part of them. And this is one of the second ones I've used from that. I just love that image of the pink and green roses. And then I trimmed it with some flat back pearls. And I call it pretty because it's all about pretty. So I just put the little pretty label on. And there's a little embroidered rosebud. And these are just so pretty. I ordered some that I thought were the same, but they end up not being the same. So, oh, and hi, Mary. I hope you're watching. And this is um, was gifted to me from Julie Jerry. Thank you, Julie. If you can tell me where you ordered that. I looked it up and I thought I was ordering these, but when they came, they were quite different. So I still like them. I just really love these. Um, so I closed this with some buttery, creamy colored lace. And it's got a double strand for the bow. And then we'll just quickly flip through. Can you see where I snuck in a little bit of gingham there? And then there's the first two pages are here. I'm not sure how focused this is, but I love this image. This is a little pocket as well. I have a little tag here I can show you. Actually, should leave that in there. It really fits. This is just a little fun tag that you flip it open and it says charming on the inside. And I've got the little embroidered rosebud trim to tie in with the one over here. And then I put a little in the center of a shabby little lace bow and some pink eyelash trim. And they're pretty thick little pages because I just had fun layering. So there's cheesecloth and lace and doilies and ruffled lace, little ruffled lace here. This is the really pretty creamy satin floral page that has another pocket and layers of doilies. There's a really 
old little piece of tatted lace right here. Those were gifted to me from Pamela at the, is it, are you the hippie gypsy now? Anyway, love her channel. And then that's a pocket. And some little cute little flat backs there. Another familiar image. I put a little lovely tag there. There's some seam binding and a flat back and a pretty little lace embellishment with another satin ribbon rose in the center. And some more eyelash trim. And then the last two pages have all this gorgeous applique that I just fussy cut out of fabric and um, decorated the page. So this is just a really mostly decorative book um, just to have fun playing with and looking at as we call them a big girl's rag doll. And then I cut out the vintage little butterflies from a doily and used some of the petal and put them in the center for the body of the butterfly. Get this in straight. And then there's a pretty little butterfly and another pocket right here. You can tuck things in. And that's all. So I'll flip through it for you again really quick. There's the binding here. The little dangle here. And you have to forgive my hands. I have glue. Oh, it's still coming off here. Sorry about that. There's the front page. The last two pages in the back. So a fun little project that's inspired me and made me want to make some more and since I've got all my bits and pieces out right now I think I will embark on another one or two of these this weekend it's but thank you for watching this video with me and I hope you are all doing well and I will see you again soon bye